The mastermind behind the global aquaponics scheme, exposed by Kelloland Investigates, learned his fate today. Kelloland's Angela Kennecke joins us now with the sentencing of Tobias Reitzman. Well, last month, Reitzman was put back in prison, accused of violating the conditions of his bond. According to federal court papers, he'd been ignoring court orders and contacting one of his victims from the global aquaponics scheme, asking for even more money. Today, Reitzman was sentenced to nine years in prison for bilking money from investors. Reitzman must also pay back nearly $700,000. Reitzman pled guilty to 18 federal fraud charges in April. Our year-long Kettleman investigation began in 2016, revealed that the proposed fish and vegetable farm near Brookings was nothing but lie after lie, from Reitzman's and other companies' officials' backgrounds to the money on hand to even owning the land for the facility, which was never built. Federal investigators found that Reitzman and Tim Burns received more than $1 million in investments in the project from 34 investors. Bank records showed that the money from investors was deposited into four different accounts. Reitzman and Burns were each stealing investor money and using it for themselves. A jury found Burns guilty of the crimes in April. He is scheduled to be sentenced on Monday. Thanks, Angela.